Hello and welcome to Project Cars. We've finally got the retail version and uh, I played quite a bit of the single player game last night and uh, it is brilliant. I've certainly improved it from the uh, beta or the alpha version that I was playing. So on screen now we're actually looking at some multiplayer, an actual online multiplayer. These are all uh, real players, no AI in this race whatsoever. Uh, we're at Road America and um, yeah, for, for, the, for the general most part of this, it's been quite a clean race. Uh, as you're about to see though, there is the odd little dickhead, as I weave my way through here. Uh, there is a particular dickhead that I have found. There's always one or two in each game that you play on the PC, uh, or online in general really. You know, just bad drivers in general. Um, just spoil it for everybody. As you can see, as we come down here, down through the gears trying to get down through here cleanly um, he actually spun off there so I try and get around him nice and clean here slow down for this one as it is deceptively tight is that bend you notice I didn't touch him there was no contact there at all um, and as we come on this corner you can see now is he ramming me on intentionally here that's one two three four that's four hits he took there now you could say that was possibly down to him not seeing me, but then again, more than likely he did. Uh, and these are the sort of players I don't want to race with. It's complete, I'm going to say it, you're just cunts who don't deserve to play the game at all. It's a sim game. If you want to play like a cunt, go play Cord or go play Mario Kart, because if you're going to play a sim, play it as a sim. So anyway, that's my little rant over. Uh, a couple of other races I played in was the same thing again. Great race between three or four of us and some dickhead just comes and runs us straight up the ass. Uh, didn't even attempt to break uh, and just ruined it for everybody. I've actually set up a uh, TeamSpeak channel. So if you're in the uh, UK driver, you're clean, you want to have some fun, uh, you can jump in the TeamSpeak. Nobody knows each other, as I said, the game's new uh, and everybody that will be in there will be fresh so nobody knows each other jump in and then we can all you know set up a game together um, UK clean races and whatnot so Road America yeah a fast track um, so far frame rate absolutely silky smooth I've had no problems whatsoever um, now the replay looked like I went straight through him there I don't know whether that's a slight bug in the replay I've also noticed as well that on the dashboard it says neutral obviously um, going through the gears. So as we come down here I'm going to be dropping this straight down into third gear. You really do need to brake on some of these corners. Um, you feel like you want to go faster when actually you don't. Slow in, fast out and you'll find that your lap times get faster. Now I'm actually playing with the steering wheel and the Thrustmaster gear shifter which took a little bit of a dum 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 as we come down the gears here. Trying to get down into about a second as we get to the bottom of this hill really does help. And as you can see, guy over to my right spun off, uh, and I'm out of trying to catch up. So yeah, using the uh, gear shifter certainly takes a little bit of getting used to because majority of the time you've only got one hand on the wheel. Um, I don't know whether these GT cars actually use paddle shifters; they probably do, but uh, it certainly feels great uh, when you're in certain cars using the gear shifter this guy spun off again so if I can get past him nice and clean and we can work our way up the pack easy 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 as we come around here until we get to that apex then we can open it up bollocks it up a little bit there came on the power too soon same with this one if you get the right angle just a little bit of braking before you go around you can come around here at full speed um, and hopefully that's going to give us enough speed to catch up to this next position here bombing down here, I think it's about 160 down this area massive amount of brakes on that corner uh, and this one, another car spun off there, gentle Jesus around here I'm actually racing with uh, no assist on whatsoever, no traction control, nothing um, and I think learning to play like that you'll get more out of the game and when it comes to the multiplayer games online that, um, that have automatically set traction control, then you're gonna uh, you're gonna find it a lot faster. That car must be bugged out there on the replay. 
So, so far, the actual multiplayer race, I've been, uh, as I said, this is my first multiplayer race and I've played uh, two more after this, uh, this video was recorded. And, um, for the most part, everybody's been clean drivers. Um, really quite impressed. Of course, you're always going to get the odd dickhead, but if you can, uh, if I can host my own server, people start ramming on purpose and ramming you off when you're overtaking things like that then they'll just get kicked and that's it no more racing for you so again straight down the gears at that corner uh, I'm going to come back up one gear ah oh, we fucked it up extremely careful on the chevrons or the barriers that you don't put an accelerator on too much um, the car is a little bit again like I've mentioned in my other videos you need to be softly accelerating around these corners and then when you're in a straight line you can really put your foot down otherwise you're going to spin it and brake early there's no racing line anymore I haven't put on purely because you can you start to learn after you've done three or four laps in the practice or the warm-up you start to learn out where the line is and you can also see eventually that it actually leaves a mark on the tarmac and another good thing I like is you can actually watch the vehicle in front if you're chasing somebody see where his braking point is if he ever cooks it you know to slow down a little bit and vice versa so bombing down here I think this is, is this going to be our last lap possibly down through the gears nice and early trying to get as smooth as I can on this corner and then just be really gentle on these next two corners otherwise um, it's easy to come off here especially when you see the two cars behind you it starts to panic you a little bit and as you noticed I actually played it a little bit too safe here and these last two cars flew past me and I panicked and overshot it <laughs> oh dear absolutely brilliant anyway this is the Spin Project Cars Online the retail version on the actual multiplayer game so far I am very very impressed the game is absolutely brilliant if you're a racing fan get the game you won't be disappointed anyway I'll see you in the next multiplayer video for Project Cares. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.